Topspin is an essential part of tennis. You can go as far back in the sport as you'd like and find players' follow-throughs whipping up over their heads to produce hard short angles and powerful drives. Simply put, Topspin allows you to hit higher over the barrier of the net and hit safely within the boundaries of the court while still hitting a very hard ball. Once we're in agreement that topspin is essential, we then have to get past all the confusion regarding how it's produced. You'll hear all types of theories and myths regarding what exactly happens at contact to produce topspin. This is understandable as the four to six one thousandths of a second the ball is on in contact with the strings is virtually undetectable with the human eye. We watch the pros swinging so fast and assume we know exactly what's happening. Unfortunately, this has created a mass of club players who simply think hitting topspin is somehow above them or they're not talented enough to hit topspin. The truth is, anyone can utilize this skill with the right understanding. Thankfully, with the advent of high-speed film, the secret is out. But before we go over how to effectively create topspin, let's go over how not to create topspin. Topspin is not created by the coming over the top of or rolling over the ball. This tip is often used with players whose racket face is positioned incorrectly leading up to contact. They then try to recruit forearm muscles to flip the racket face into a proper position very close to contact. This can work, but unfortunately they lose all racket head speed and can even get tennis elbow from the violent flipping motion made with the forearm. It's important to understand that almost every new player to tennis wants to tilt the racket face up at contact to get the ball to go over the net. This works at first until they want to hit harder and thus need topspin. Later in the video you'll have a better understanding of why this racket position is ineffective. Secondly, topspin is not created by a wrist flick at contact. The ball simply isn't in contact with your strings long enough to do anything. Often players attempting this will end up accelerating the racket too late and be unable to generate any force. The pros utilize connected body segments which determines the speed of the racket long before contact. When we do watch the pros, we often see a lot of motion that comes from being loose and swinging fast. These are kinematic movements which happen as a result of swing speed and looseness. They're unintentional and occur after the ball is already gone. So then, how is topspin generated? The answer is friction. The trick to creating effective topspin is to understand that it is not the angle of the racket face that makes the trajectory of the ball rise, nor is it the flipping of the racket face over the ball or a last minute wrist snap. It's friction, or the grabbing of the ball by the strings that determines the upward ball flight trajectory and also creates the forward rotation. When you understand this, you'll understand there is nothing you have to do other than set your racket face at the proper position and launch your racket up and into the ball to create massive amounts of not just spin, but also compression. You see, Powerful topspin also isn't just the vertical brushing of the ball, which ends up producing a wimpy, spinning put away for your opponent. It's the grabbing and mushing or compressing of the ball that creates powerful topspin. However, for your racket to be able to accelerate quickly up and through the ball, the racket face must be hooded or slightly tilted down prior to contact. This is because the arm works on a radius and will create a nearly vertical racket face at contact with the least amount of adjustment. So all you have to do to create effective topspin is hood your racket face below the point of impact and simply lift your shoulder. That's it. Hopefully this creates an understanding of topspin that allows you to break through some barriers you might have been struggling with. Learning topspin effectively isn't some distant skill reserved for elite players. Topspin makes the game easier for yourself and harder for your opponent. So get out there, find a qualified tennis professional, and learn it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider liking, subscribing, and remembering, 
sharing is caring.